Howdy folks, this is Justro at Matt Kaif Mills bringing you Storytime Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about something that's very valuable. Before we get to Storytime Tuesday, I wanted to show you what I've been working on today. Now this is a shoe, it's called a shoe for a grist mill that grinds corn. And what this shoe was needing before I got a hold of it was some guts. Now these guts right here, that's the guts. The way that works is, this goes down in the shoe, the corn comes out of the hopper to here and this thing is shaking. And if there's anything bigger than the corn, it'll or bigger than these holes, it'll stay on top and come down here and go out the, the trash spout. The corn goes down through there onto the sheet metal and because the corn's already clean, that's the only separation it gets it gets down on that stainless sheet metal and goes down into the mill so the thing about this is when you put guts in a shoe you have to fit real tight and seal up good and with this thing shaking like it is it has to latch in as good as possible so you can see there how that snaps in then it won't come out but that's what you that's how you make a shoe for a grain mill. And it kind of separates. It'll be a little a bracket right here that receives the grain down out of the hopper and a little flow cup. You can adjust how much <clears throat> how much grain is going into it. But that's the shoe, that's how it works. Just wanted to share that with you. That's what I was working on today. I got some painting to do on a big meal that i'm about to finish up but it was too cold most of the day to paint so i had this laying here it needed done so i got it done folks today on story time tuesday i want to talk to you about friends and community i've been blessed in my life to have a few good friends and there's friends right now that I've not talked to in a few years, but I know if I picked up the phone and called them, that they'd be right there to help me if I needed it. I want to tell you a few stories about my friends. I guess you could call them new friends. And just to explain that, I mean friends that I, that I ain't known that long of a time. And last year, I think it was in May, the last part of May, I seen my neighbor down here, Billy. If you watch Permapasture's Farm, you know Billy. And I seen him at the mouth of his driveway there, and I'd, I'd seen him out working several times, and I just never did stop. I didn't want to bother him while he was working, and... Anyway, I stopped and went up and spoke to Billy and met him and I guess we just kind of hit it off and it went on and on and we started, you know, learning more about each other and doing things and William and Michelle and the thing about it is to me, here where I live, my grandparents on my dad's side lived across the road, and my my mom and dad live close to me uh, all the time through my life. I was gone from this place for a brief while once, and... Uh, I've always had family around close by. Well, 2008, my brother died of a heart attack. In 2009, Grandma died. 2010, Pa died. And then last year, as some of you may know, I lost my mother in February and lost Daddy in November. So when you're used to being with your family, you know, on a daily basis,
close by to where you at least usually see them every day. You know it's different. Nobody's around now. And it's just way different and that really bothered me for a while and you know just me and my two girls here and so here comes Billy and Michelle and William and it's like I met them at the perfect time because I met them just after mother died and a few months before daddy died and it just goes to show the plan is already out, you know, it's already, out. the plan is made and you just got to trust. And anyway, the more we got to know each other, the closer we got and I never really been around anybody like them. They're just so kind and just unbelievable how good they are to us and right now this time in our life yeah i lost my grandparents 10 years ago and my my parents last year but my daughter virginia and my daughter charlotte they lost their grandparents that they you know had been around for the biggest part of their life because we was always close and you know that especially virginia she spent a lot of a lot of time around my parents at times when I was working when she was growing up but it was hard for her and then here come these neighbors and uh, just what a blessing they've been to us I just cannot tell you you know they're always offering to help they're always helping the OHH is always making something good to eat or making cookies or bread or something and sending it up or we go down there and get it or go down there and eat with them and and if you watch Permal Pastures Farm you know what the o, you know what OHH stands for and uh, it's just the time in your life when you think that you're probably going to be alone and, and then you're not. I mean, you, it just comes back. And they're really, they are responsible for me starting my YouTube channel. They encouraged and helped tremendously when I was trying to get started. And my daughter, Virginia, she had mentioned I need to start a YouTube channel a few years back she recognized what I do is kind of rare I guess and people might be interested in it so but they encouraged me helped me get started William done a lot of time spent a lot of time on me editing and stuff when I first started to help me get my videos up and out and it was just and they just they're they're the same. They just, you know, always asking, can we help you do anything, anything we can do. The girls go down there and hang out with them if I got something I need to do. And just a huge blessing. And I cannot tell you how thankful I am for them. And then we've met several people through them that are friends now. Ben and Denise over at Renewed Homestead. If you don't know them, check them out. James and Ashley, their channel is called Strand Farm. S-T-R-A-N-D, Strand Farm. And check them out if you don't know them. James and Ashley, I had heard about them. Billy and uh, Michelle and William had met them previously and a couple times maybe and when it was getting bad with my dad, I was trying to take care of him all the time. I was getting more out and uh, they happened to be nurses. So William says, uh, I'm gonna call and ask them about lending a hand for a little while. And it's hard for me to accept help like that. It's been hard to accept help, but I'm learning that that's a part of a community and that's how you 
be a good neighbor is to not only give help, but to accept help when it's offered to you. And I, I figured out that's, if you don't accept help, like I've done a lot and just do it yourself, that's a kind of a form of selfishness. Because when somebody else helps you, it, it helps them. It makes them feel good. You know, it balances out. It, it's just, it's the way it's supposed to be. Anyway, uh, I was getting wore out, didn't have anybody to help me very much with dad. He had hospice care there on the last, but that was just a few hours a day, some days, certain days. and So here comes James and Ashley. I talked to him on the phone. He said, we're going to load up and come your way. Never spoke to the man before in my life. And they get here one evening and come in and you know, they say, Justin, we've got this. We've got this. You just rest. You just go rest. You need to rest. And that's the first time I'd laid down and really slept soundly, and I don't remember how long it was. And I knew, I could tell by the way they were, they come in and immediately evaluated everything and dad's health care and medicine. And, I, and these people I don't even know. And... They just swoop in and just get everything in hand and say, Justin, go rest. And I did. I went and I laid down and I was able to rest because seeing how they were, there weren't a doubt in my mind that Dad was going to be took care of. And he was. And it wasn't but a few days after that that, we, that Dad passed away. And they stayed through that and helped me you know at night and so I could rest and it was just an amazing thing and and that's the you know that's they don't live close by like Billy and Michelle but it's still a community it's a community of people that work together and help each other like it's supposed to be and it makes life so much sweeter and neater when you've got that. And if you think you don't got that, you need to just go meet a few of your neighbors. And if you don't have neighbors close by, go far away and find some neighbors. Just You just never know what you might run across and what kind of people you might run across. Maybe some you don't want to run across too, but for the most part, it's... And I've got plenty of neighbors up and down the road here, lived here all my life, and I hope they know, you know, if we ask Justin, could he help me do something, I hope, hope they know I would do my best. And I know a time or two that I... There's been a lot of times I helped my neighbors, but the, I know there's a couple times that I didn't get around to something that wasn't real pressing. Well, you know, when I get a chance or whatever, and you just never get around to it. And, uh, I don't know if they just give up on you or whatever, but I don't like it, and I'm not happy with it, but sometimes the way life is, you, you do your best, you try, and sometimes you do and sometimes you don't, but you try. And when you got people like that, and like I say, you know, there's a plan. There's a plan. There is a plan. During this exact time in my life, when everybody I'd been around and my daughters was gone, here comes in all these people. I can't count on both two on. I might be able to get them all on both hands if I use 10 fingers, but here they come at the perfect time and just they, they help fill that spot in you that's empty. And they fill it with love. And you know, they show you that they care about you and it gives you somebody to care about. And 
it really ain't no words to describe it, but it's it is community and it's how it's supposed to be. We're not we're not made to function and try to do everything alone. Just I guess trying to do everything alone takes the joy out of it in a sense and it's a joy to share things with somebody, whether it's hard work or celebration or parties or work or whatever, just whatever. It's a joy to share things with somebody. And right now, folks, in my opinion, is a time that we need community worse than ever. And, you know, I'm just getting around to meeting some folks that, or far off, live down in Mississippi, and just some of the finest people you'd ever want to know, and that kind of got kicked off, and I was able to be a neighbor to them, and uh, it's just, and that's Danny and Wanda down at Deep South Homestead. They're awesome people, and just, they've helped me so much, and I'm I'm just can't say how thankful I am for them and I was able to do a little something for them and it really made me feel good and you know you do a little something for somebody and then they do a, something huge for you and you you know if I can ever do anything else I will I'll be there because that's how it works and these friends and neighbors, community, it's just a blessing to, to know and have. And I encourage you right now, work on your community, participate in your community, because you're stronger when you've got community. You're able to withstand more and you're able to endure more when you're not alone. And I'm working on a little something I've been, it's been in the making for several years, 10 years or so, and it's just now, I guess, time that I, I start getting on with it. And it's I'm really excited about it and excited about sharing it with you all. And that's, hopefully get things straightened out and I can do a live real soon and that's what I was hoping to do is share it on the live so I look forward to that I hope you've enjoyed story time Tuesday today and as I like to say I'm a community -ist. I love community and I hope some way that I can encourage community this is justro at metcalf mills if you enjoyed this hit the like button for me subscribe if you ain't already and i want to say a big howdy and welcome to all my new subscribers i'm glad you're here and i appreciate every one of you and i look forward to sharing my life with you I hope it's a blessing to you. This is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I look forward to seeing you next time.